In this situation, if the whole point is that you want to stay home and you want to not run out of money, this is an, a, a, the most appropriate place to use a reverse mortgage to actually buy the improvements that are going to allow you to stay home. Because remember the thing about reverse mortgages, there are no monthly payments and they only come due when you're dead, right? Or when you move out, right? So a couple of things about reverse mortgages. First of all, uh, oh, they're all the same. I mean, they'll, you see the ads and they'll all try to differentiate themselves. They're all the same. Uh, they're called home equity conversion mortgages, HECM mortgages. The reason why they're all the same is that they're all insured by the federal government. Uh, and that's the reason why banks are willing to do this, because if they've lent you more money than the value of your house, the federal government's going to pay them the difference eventually. But as a result of that guarantee, the federal government also regulates these. So everyone's following the same regulations. So this, th your basic HECM mortgage, it's good, you're good, they will the, the, the mortgage, the bank will decide how much to lend you based on three factors. Um, uh, your age, they'll, they'll lend you a greater and greater percentage of the value of your house the older that you are. If you're getting a lifetime mortgage and you're 103, they're very comfortable lending you a lot of money on that house. Um, the lesser of the appraised value of the house or the maximum lending limit, which today across the country is $625,000. So, when they were doing this calculation for Frank and Mary, they take the entire value of their house, 400000 because it's less than $625,000. Uh, and they're going to base it on the current interest rate. So to give you an example, real, in real numbers, if Frank and Mary are 70 years old and they're doing this, the, the cost of getting their mortgage is going to be about $16,500. It's a big upfront cost. So you don't want to do this unless you want to have this kind of money available to invest in your home. Um, and by the way, I always suggest to people who are doing this, don't take all the money out. If you're going to do this, set this up, get the reverse mortgage for the maximum amount, but use it as a line of credit. Only use the money that you need because that way the amount that's owed on your house is only going to grow by the interest on that smaller amount of money. So in their case, um, they would get on their house, they, they, the bank would be willing to lend them a principal limit of $245,000. Um, if, they, if, they, if they rolled the closing costs into that loan, uh, and also and suppose that they were doing home modifications worth about $40,000, they would have left about $189,000 in their line of credit, and they would have done all the modifications. If Frank and Mary were 80 years old right now, their lending limit would have been higher, and therefore their remaining credit line would be $214,000. So that's one way of doing it. Um, once again, I don't recommend reverse mortgages in general, but if this is what you want to do and you want to keep the cash that you have as a reserve, this is a way to do it. Second, there is a, who knew this, there is a reverse mortgage program that is run by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, right? With your money. This is another one of your taxpayer dollars at work. If you are doing home modifications in order to make your house safe because you have these kinds of disabilities, you're trying to make the house safe, then, then through various outlets, if I recall correctly here, it's the South Middlesex Opportunity Council, but through outlets around the state, the Commonwealth will lend you up to $30,000 in a reverse mortgage. You make no payments, right? Um, or you make no payments as long as you meet their income criteria, but I'm going to talk about those. Um, they will lend up to, for two people, up to, two, who having income, up to 200% of median income. To give you a sense of what that is, Median income for a family of two here is $75,600. 200% of that is $151,000, right? How many of you have regular incomes that hit those numbers, right? Just about everybody will qualify for one of these if, you have to if Frank and Mary had total regular income of less than $75,000, then they're entitled to a 0% a mortgage, no interest, Payments are totally deferred until the house is transferred or until they die. 
if their income was between 100 and 200 percent, the loan would be at 3 percent interest. Um, they they, they um, can actually still get deferred payment loans. So for the package of improvements, you just heard you know, maybe 100 possible improvements to your house. I bet all of them put together didn't add up to $30,000 to $40,000, right? So if you're, if you're frank and you want Mary to be able to stay at home and you don't want to take the cash out of your wallet, right, because you want to keep it in reserve, this is simply an alternative. Finally, in summary, if you know someone who's got early stage Alzheimer's, get to know the Alzheimer's Association, see if there are programs um, available in or near your community for so, so that people, so that your loved one can stay socializing, can stay out and about, talk to Bay Path Elder Services, make your home safe, do a reverse mortgage if you think that's the appropriate way to make your home safe. Remember the goal of the exercise is peace of mind, to sleep well at night. Maybe none of this is relevant to you, but if it is, check it out ahead of time. Check out these sources ahead of time. Thank you very much. Any, oh, and, and, and if you want to see this program, or if you've talk, you're talking to someone, you say, oh, they really ought to have seen this program. Just tell them these programs, they're going to be shown several times here on local cable, and we also upload them to my YouTube channel, for, well, actually to Frank and Mary's YouTube channel, Elder Law Frank and Mary. Uh, thank you very much. Any questions for either of us, for Carol or for me? Yes, sir. Is Mass Bay Central Mass covered? Is, is, does, does, does Bay Path Elder Services cover this? Yeah. The answer is yes. Yes, Bay Path, the western, they have 14 communities. The western border is uh, uh, Hopkinton, Westboro, uh, Northboro, so it includes Southboro, and then it goes up to Marlboro and Hudson. So it's mostly Middlesex, but it includes that set of communities here. So they're the right people to talk to. And once again, they're great because they'll, they, oh, they also have a fabulous website. I'm sorry that I didn't give you their, the, the, the oh, I think I did, I gave you the number of their website. Um, and it's called like Caregiving Metro West or something like that. Um, and they, you can literally click on South Bro, right? And they'll give you all the services that are available right here from like elder law people to home care people to geriatric care managers specifically related to folks that are right here. So it's just, it's gonna be really, really helpful for you, okay? Any other questions? If not, we're happy to stay around for a few minutes uh, afterwards. Could I ask a quick round of applause for my wonderful Carol Rienzo for coming? Thank you. I always love listening to her doing, I, I get all my tips for my programs from her. <laughs> Thank you very much, and uh, have a wonderful holiday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.